Okay, I shouldn't do this, but I was literally on the call with someone who I'm coaching. Oh no, don't give up now! Don't give up now! No! No! Alright, these three people sitting on their balcony, the woman, she, you can't see her now, she's on the right with long blonde hair. I don't know if they were filming a, a, an audition video or, if, or what they were doing, but like, she got up and she just started hip-hop dancing on the rooftop, like full out. I literally hung up the phone so I could film her dancing, but now she's not dancing. Like this like full-on hip-hop performance happening right there. Damn it, I missed it. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the steps if you think you uh, can pick it up. Let's just start with holding uh, hey, your I'm hips quite, oh, like, like this. that. Okay. Yeah, real quick. Yeah. And it's going to Look at me! Oh, hit. are we Are we doing, are we going guys, to? Guys, like hit and what are you doing with your shoulders? Look at me over here! All right, moving okay, on. Let's so, check it out. Check shimmy it out. to the right. Wait, wait for me. Okay, Katie, you're so funny. <laughs> shimmy to the yeah. right and bend, dance. Wait, wait, I, hang on. Oh, oh, okay, pump. I can't, can't bend that Can far. you? Okay, like pump and pump. Oh. Can you guys not do that? I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Pump? Yeah, pump. not so much. Okay, we'll just move on. Nah. So, you know this part that connects with shimmy to the right, and we ran out of footage. Swing it back. Gotta take a crap. Oh, I almost oh, fell. I feel much better walking on broken glass of single ladies. Oh, I love single uh, ladies. Okay, let me just show you what it's supposed to look like, okay? So, uh, uh, and hit it, hit it, hit it, turn around and yes. uh, titties, 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 clap for me because I'm a professional. What? Cool. I'm gonna pretend that I wasn't just dancing. What's up? What are you doing here? I don't even want to do this anymore. So it is 1.31 p.m. on Monday. I'm kind of just waking up. Um, I had a coaching call with someone at 9.30 and then another coaching call at 11.30. Um, and uh, kind of now just waking up after those calls. And I'm just going to acknowledge, um, as of today, the last episode I have uploaded for my show was, I believe, Thursday. I think Thursday is the last episode that went up, or last vlog episode. So I am behind by Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So I'm still three days behind. And because I got behind, I've kind of stopped filming stuff. So I've kind of, I'm kind of at this place, and I'm not making this wrong. I'm just acknowledging what's so. I'm just acknowledging where I'm at right now. Because I can't do anything with, I can't do anything other than how do I say this? The only thing I can use is what's real, like like what's actual, like what is so about the situation as it stands now, right? I can't use hypotheticals. So what's so is that I've fallen behind. I mean, when I fall behind, I, I kind of shy away from this project as a whole. Like I don't vlog, I don't film stuff throughout the day. Because instead, I'm just in this story about trying to get caught up. So what I'm going to try on is that like... The project itself, the vlog itself, is sort of morphing into something other than what I intended it to originally be. And I'm not going to try to get in the way of that and like struggle to like steer it where I think it should be. I'm going to just go with it. Um, I don't know whether that means no longer being a daily vlog. I don't know whether that means no longer recording each day. Um, but uh, I just know that I'm going to jump right back in where I am and let my intuition let my intuition guide me. One thing that's guiding me today is um, I realize that I have all of this gorgeous camera equipment. I have a 70D, I have an 80D, and I actually have attention deficit. How funny! I have 80D and an 80D. Um, but I I never use this camera for vlogging, and this is like what like professional like vloggers use they use this kind of a camera setup um i mean they use a whole bunch of different cameras but i use this i have this and i never use it so what i'm doing today is i'm just recording just a little bit of footage from outside my window i'm also recording um I, what i'm gonna do with this is make a time lapse of just the skyline and just a time lapse of like the clouds going by and traffic going by um because it's one of the you know one of the other characters in this vlog is my view, is my neighborhood. And I really seldom share that with you. Like, really share it. Like, you'll kind of get, like, glimpses out the window, but I never really just show you what I see out my window and, like, let you just revel in its glory. So anyway, um, my drag daughter, Ali Gonza, is going to be here in 27 minutes, and I still need to shower, floss, do my morning pages, and do my mountain climbers and my push-ups. Now, Talk about things occurring for me is impossible, right? It's occurring for me that I don't have the time to do that. But 
I'm just going to jump right in where I am and get those things started now. <laughs> I really wanted to quit and then like around like 30 seconds the pain actually started to feel good I don't know what that is but I started to feel good so yeah um, whew. all right now to do my push-ups all right bullshit let's just get this bullshit over with 28 push-ups here we go Oh. Huh. Could those have been better? Yes. But they were definitely better than yesterday. They felt a lot better than yesterday. I definitely feel I'm getting a lot stronger. Shower time. You know what? I've been procrastinating something. I don't have a ton of time, but I got this new scale, and as much as I want to use it, I've been procrastinating simply taking it out of the box and setting it up. Therefore, I did not weigh myself yesterday, but rather than delaying any more, I'm gonna go ahead and get it set up just now. Here we go. My drag daughter is here! It's Eleganza! Hey! It's Eleganza! Uh, Welcome! Uh, <laughs> How are you, girl? Okay, I'm good. Okay, good. Okay, so um, my drag daughter just left. We worked on her number for a little while. Um, I probably worked on her number at the expense of working on stuff I should have been working on, but. I actually learned a few things about audio um, when I was working on her number. Um, it's funny, you know, the tendency is always just like, I just want to finish it. I just want to get it done and get it over with. But I oh. told her, I'm like, why don't we use this as the opportunity to learn how to do this the right way, to learn a couple of like new like skills and like learn how to really edit audio. Because I'm a stickler when it comes to audio. I can't stand when I see a drag queen who like they're doing a mix and there's like the audio levels aren't right or like the audio level jumps from the song to like the spoken dialogue and back like the audio levels aren't all like even and nice and level it just takes me out of it so i really worked on the audio levels for her song and i it moved me to tears like i was listening to this number and like it really the intention of the number was able to really come through with the work that we did um so anyway that's done um i have a lot of other homework to do i have photos to edit i have several days of vlogs to catch up on but I'm going to quickly go out for a run A. I know that it will get my energy levels up like I'll feel like amped after I do that and B. 
Uh, I just want to get it out of the way because <laughs> I'm supposed to do it. So today is actually day three of the Master Cleanse. Um, I'm starting to feel pretty good. I had a dream last night that I was just eating. And then Matthew came over today um, and he brought uh, two Red Bulls, both for himself, thankfully. Um, and I was just like, seeing it, I was just like, girl, I want some of that. Uh, my friend Danny came over last night and brought a box of peanut butter cat and crunch. And he was like, I brought you something. I'm like, no. Um, but I'm like, you eat that. Go right ahead and eat it. Um, and then he ran out of milk. He wanted a second bowl, but I ran out of almond milk. And so I actually thought, I'm like, I can just make you some cashew milk. So I threw some cashews, some water, and a couple of ice cubes. And that's my secret. If you Vitamix it, it'll start to heat up the more you like, blend it, if you really blend it on high speed. So I put like equal parts of ice and water and then like a small handful of cashews blended that into some beautiful cashew milk so he could finish i was like that is an expensive bowl of cereal but a nu nutrient dense and fattening bowl of cereal but so now there's this like leftover like four or six ounces of like homemade cashew milk in my fridge <laughs> if i even think about it or even look at it i'm just like i want to drink that but you know what i'll just make a friend a really nice cappuccino or something next time they come over um, but yeah, I feel like I'm past the hump of, like, being really, really hungry, um, and, like, I'm, I'm feeling good now, as long as I just, like, let my, you know, stay on top of drinking my lemonade, and if I'm, like, hungry, I'll have, like, a tea, or I'll just drink some water, and then it goes away. So after day three of the Master Cleanse, that's when it starts to get really, really easy, and your, your energy starts coming back, because I felt a little sluggish the last few days, so, anyway, I'm gonna go for a run, come home, finish some work, and then start catching up on vlogs. All right, bye! Feels good. Feels good to be out here. Whew. I can hear the crickets. I smell like botanicals and flowers. And you know what I can't help but thinking? Like, the time goes so fast. And if I weren't out running, time would be going by a lot faster, sitting in my apartment and doing nothing. But Donna was wrong. Time does not go by so slowly. Time is gonna go by whether you're sitting on your ass or you're running in your shoes. And I know I will feel so much better getting back after my run, not only knowing that my run is out of the way, but the amount of energy I will have after doing this run will be through the roof. And I know it'll make it A, a lot easier for me to focus on getting work done, and B, am I up to B yet? And B, handsome guy in a bike. And B, what was B again? Oh yeah, I will sleep so soundly having got in a good day's exercise. You know, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, talking to Carl yesterday, about the idea that like, sometimes for some people, you gotta focus on like, weight loss and cardio and like toning up before it's really time to worry about bodybuilding and toning and shaping and putting on muscle so I think I'm okay with focusing more on becoming a runner and a yogi and a tap dancer and stuff like that before I worry about like putting on muscle I think putting on muscle will be so much easier to do once I'm like back in shape and like fit again all right back to running Done. All done. Whew, I feel good. You know what? Usually, when I'm running, 
I'm usually listening to music, which really does help my run. But when I'm recording video, which I don't know, I just decided to record almost my entire video so I can do it as a time lapse. Um, but when I'm uh, <clears throat> when I'm recording video, I can't use my uh, I can't listen to music through my headphones. I wish that wasn't the case. I wish there was like an app that you could use to record video where it's like the app understands that you're not recording audio so it just records the video camera and nothing else and allows you to still stream music in the background. If anyone feels like looking that up for me and researching it, let me know which app because I would love that. But there's something to be said about running with no music because it was very meditative and like I had nothing to listen to other than my own thoughts. Especially I had these in my ears so I could listen to the uh, app that sort of guides me on my run and tells me, you know, when to watch my form, tells me when to like speed up or slow down. And uh, and um, but for the most part, I just kind of had my own thoughts to listen to and my own breath to listen to. And certain thoughts came to me. And one of the thoughts that came to me was, after I finished the Master Cleanse, you know, what do I want to do about my health and my eating going forward? And one of the things that came to me was I started thinking about what I used to eat for breakfast when I was like really taking charge of my health. And it wasn't that hard to do. I made this, um, I call it the Garden Fresh Cocktail. That name is actually, um, I should call it the Garden Fresh Smoothie. Um, the, uh, the name actually comes from like the Vitamix, uh, recipe guide that you get when you buy the Vitamix, but it's basically just like peppers and tomatoes and carrots and onions and spinach, um, and like lemon and lime juice and then like hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds and mushroom powder, um, and then like some ice cubes. I don't really think there's any water. No, there's no water in there. Just that. Um, maybe a tiny bit. I don't, anyway. Um, and uh, my gut, first of all, if you ate those ingredients as like a salad, you'd be gassy. You'd be running to the bathroom. But when you blend it all up in a Vitamix on high speed, it's like juice. And it tastes, oh, and I also put some Frank's Red Hot in there. Um, and it tastes so delicious. And it got me thinking. One of the things that stops me from doing that is that the produce doesn't last that long. So, you know, if I, I either have to go to the store every couple of days, um, or, yeah, I have to go to the store every couple of days, and then, like, I'll buy it, I'll chop everything up and put it in Tupperware bins, like in meal prep bins in the fridge, but I can really only do, like, four or five days of that at a time, because it's not gonna keep that long. But it got me thinking, what if I chopped everything up and then like chopped up all those ingredients and like blended it, pretty much all of it, like everything except for the ice cubes, and like blended it into like a mush. I know that doesn't sound very appealing, but blend it into a mush and then ball it up or like pour it in ice cube containers and then freeze it right away and then put that in the freezer and like, put like one container of like cubes, right? Um, actually, I'm starting to get hungry just thinking about doing that. Um, so, oh, one second, I should stop my workout really quick. There we go. So, um, I had to close so many apps just now because uh, the new scale that I have, um, it can actually pair with certain apps that track my health. Um, so it can pair with the food look journal, the food diary app that I use, uh, MyFitnessPal. Um, and it doesn't, MyFitnessPal is made by the same company that does um, Map My Run, which is the, ma the app that I've always used to track my runs and my bike rides. But it doesn't pair with Map My Run. It only pairs with RunKeeper, which I don't use. Um, but whatever, I decided, to, but also I noticed Spotify can also work in tandem with Matt, with RunKeeper. Uh, anyway, so 
I installed RunKeeper, but that's not the app that I use to share my runs with my friends. So like my friend Ethan, Michael, Jonathan, when they go out for a run, I see that they went out for a run. And I love that when I run, they see that I went for a run. So, um, at any rate, uh, it, it does allow me to use multiple running apps, so I track my runs on both RunKeeper and map my run. It's a bit of a hassle, but at least now my run data is being tracked with like my online like health notes, um, which is cool because through with things when I share that data at one website, I can track my weight, my body fat, my now my bone density, my muscle mass, um, my my hydration levels, which you know, in other words, how toxic slash hydrated I am. Um, which my hydration is low, girl. I gotta get that back up to sixty five percent. Um, so anyway, yeah, I have to, um, use all those apps while I'm running, as well as a third app, the Pair app, which sort of tracks my, um, it, it like coaches me through my runs. So at any rate, um, I just, uh, back to the, um, back to the idea of the, um, the Garden Fresh Smoothie, if I make those like a week's worth of them in advance or I'll see how many of them I can make in advance maybe I can make two weeks maybe I can make a month worth you know it'll be fun to see how much prep I can do and how much I can buy that produce in bulk and um, you know how easy that will make it just to make that my morning smoothie instead of my usual which is um, usually what I do is you know bananas almond milk berries or instead of the berries peanut butter and cocoa powder and then um, a shot of uh, protein powder but instead of that it would be really cool to see if I can make like a week or two weeks or a month of of um, the garden fresh uh, smoothies in advance and then freeze them so that all I need to do is grab a ball of frozen veggies throw it in the blender um, with ice cubes and then add whatever I need to add you know my my seeds my what have you so um anyway i'm sure that'll, that'll require some going to the drawing board oh my god is this apartment open look at this this is a new apartment across the street from me they just built this building and already look at this there's like this beautiful apartment already in there i wonder if anyone lives there or if this is just like an apartment for show because I can't imagine anyone has actually moved in that quickly. I would be very interested to see if anyone actually lives there. All it has so far is a nicely made bed, um, uh, an iMac, and some desk lamps. It doesn't really look like a real... Oh, and a TV, which is currently on. Maybe someone lives there. That person lives in a building with like no neighbors. God, I would love to see that building. It looks like it's just being finished. Wow, I can't wait to see that. Um, that reminds me, I gotta start applying for some other affordable housing lotteries. I know, it's crazy, right? I've already won the affordable housing lottery, just why not stay put where I am? But like, I could always explore other options and see if, if a different, um, you know, apartment becomes available and if I have better options. I mean, hey, there might be a, a building in this neighborhood that is exactly what I have, but higher ceilings you know, or a nicer gym, or roof access, which I would kill for roof access. You know, when I got this apartment, I have, a very, I have a very limited view of what the universe will let me have. So when I got this apartment, I thought, that's it. This is it. This is the apartment I'm going to live and die in. I'm going to spend my whole life in this apartment. And, you know, maybe God has better things in store for me. You know, I watch Casey Neistat's vlog, and I see inside his studio, and I think, man... God, I would kill to have a space like that. But maybe one day I can. Maybe one day I can have even more than I have currently, you know? I mean, I'm satisfied with what I have. But is it not too, you know, ridiculous to think one day I couldn't even have better? Um, so I should just at least do the work and apply to additional affording house, affording houseable lotteries. And then if a better offer comes along, I can take it. Anyway, I am now home. So I have officially vlogged my entire run.
This is the worst part of the master cleanse. I'm almost throw, throwing up just thinking about doing it. This is the salt water flush. It says to do it every day. I don't do it every day. You don't need to do it every day. I do it like every two or three days, more like three days. But it's time to do the salt water flush. You'd think that after like three days of not eating food and like just doing like lemon, like lemon juice and maple syrup, I'd be like craving something salty, right? So I try to psych myself out thinking like, ooh, pretend it's french fries or chips or... A friend of mine yesterday told me, seriously, if you just imagine it's vegetable broth, it, you'll like, it'll go down easy. But like, just drinking this just always makes me want to vomit. So anyway, ugh, here we go. If I just do it fast, it'll be easier. You know, let's get, get this bullshit over with. That's what I always say. Pretend it's vegetable broth. It's chicken noodle soup. Vegan chicken noodle soup. <coughs> Vegetable broth. My friend Craig told me to just picture that it's vegetable broth. Ugh. It's easier if you dilute it with more water, but the more water you add, the longer it's going to take to get it over with. If you just do it all at once, super concentrated, it's much faster. All right, vegetable broth. Mmm, some like, some nice, I don't know what else to say other than chicken noodle soup. Vegan chicken noodle soup, here we go. Vegan noodle soup, there we go. Mmm, vegan noodle soup. Vegan noodle soup, mmm, yum. I love that vegan noodle soup. Huh. I love that vegan noodle soup. And I'm not going to vomit. You know you know how I'm going to make sure I don't vomit? I'm going to promise you that if I throw up, I'm going to do it on camera. And I don't want to do that. So, I'm not going to throw up. Didn't I say it? Did I call it or what? I told a friend of mine that when you do the saltwater flush, you will generally spend about three hours back and forth in the bathroom before like everything's out of your system. Look at that. To the minute! Three hours. Was I right or was I right? <laughs>